Hello everyone. Welcome to another session of Code Basics coding tutorial. Today we are going to talk about modules in Python. And here are the list of topics we are covering today. Okay, let's begin with the introduction on modules. In our day-to-day -day life, we use many devices and tools created by other people. For example, computer, car, and calculator. These are the devices created or invented by other people, but once they are invented, we can use it. This whole idea about reusing something applies to programming world as well. In Python, modules is a way to reuse a code written by someone else. Think about a calculator. If you want to write a code that does basic mathematical operation, you can write little functions to find out those operations. For example, if you want to find out a square root of a function, square root of a number or power, etc., you can write your own little functions. But if someone else has already written that, why bother? And the best part about Python is you can use those modules for free. You don't have to pay anything. Let me give you an example of math module. If you want to use math module, you will have to import it using import command. So you say import math. This imports this math module, which is written by someone else, locally into your code. Now, if you want to call a function, call square root. So let's say you're finding a square root of number 16. You can do this. Similarly, now you want to find out 2 raised to power of 4. How do I know all the functions which are present in math module? You can use dir command for this. dir bracket math. This is giving you all the functions which are available in math module. Another way of finding all this function is just to simply Google it. So if you have your browser open, you can just type in Python 3 math module. I'm using Python 3 version, that's why I said Python 3. And the first link that opens is providing you help on math module. You can see the description here and below it is listing all the functions which are available in this module. So you can read through this help and you can use any of these functions. We just use math.pow functions. Okay, let's, let's cover some uh, few more functions in math module. If you want to look at the value of pi, then you can just say math.py. Let's find out the log of number 100 to the base 10. And that's two, nice. How about thousand? Any guess? Yep, it's three. You can also find floor and ceiling of numbers using math.floor. And for the same thing, if you say math.ceiling, it will give you three. Okay. Now, Let's cover another module called calendar. Again, to import any module, you have to type in import command followed by module name. I just imported calendar module. Now I want to print a calendar of 2016, a month of January. So you will say cal equal to calendar 2016 is the year, one is the month. Enter. This is saying module object is not callable. Okay, I made a mistake. What I should have said is calendar dot month because I am printing a 
calendar of a month and when you say print cal nice so it just printed the calendar of january 2016 now i'm not sure if this year is a leap year or not well calendar can give you the answer you can use ease lip command and say 2016 it is saying true if and now let me see if last year was a leap year or not it wasn't again you can use dir command to look at all the functions which are available in calendar module as you notice we used ease lift function and that function should be here somewhere here it is okay now how do i find a list of all the python modules available for use again google is your friend you will just say python 3.5 modules list and the first link that opens if you click on it this is giving you all the modules available for use in alphabetical order so you can look at m and here is the math one that we used so there are tons of modules and these are by the way all the standard modules that comes with a st standard python installation other than these modules there are many more third party modules available for use but for for to use them you have to import and you have to download those modules okay but what if i have a custom need and i want to write my own module well that's possible i will demonstrate that uh, using pycharm editor here so let me just bring in my pycharm okay here what i have done is i have written a simple python functions.py file with two simple functions so let's say i am creating a python module which calculates an area of a triangle and a square i wrote all the, these two functions now i have my main program here which is my my program.py and from in this file i want to import functions.py as a module you can just simply say import functions the reason it is importing it is because it is at the same level it is in the same code directory you see here c code learn python these two files are in the same directory that's why you can easily import here and you can just say functions dot and it is uh, in the autocomplete it is showing me those two functions so let's say i want to calculate the area of a square whose length is five if i run this I didn't see anything because I didn't print it. So I will say area print area. Okay. If I run it, I see 25. Okay. You can also import. There is another way of importing model. Basically, you can say import functions as something. Right. So you can say import functions as f and then you can use f.calculate area if you don't want to type functions every time and it will still work now what if this functions dot py file is not in the same directory so let's go here this is my code directory where i have my files functions and my program right now they are in the same directory that's why it's easy to import if I put functions into a subdirectory, which is a modules. So what I just did is I moved that file to a subdirectory on the same level, which is modules. And if I look at here, now you see like there is a modules subdirectory and functions is inside it. And that's why now it is not recognizing uh, functions. If I try to run it, it will say no module name functions because it is looking in the same directory and it is it is not finding anything with a name function.
So what you have to do is you have to provide a subdirectory name. So you'll say modules dot functions. So modules dot functions as F. And if you run that, this is now going to work. All right. What if this functions dot py is not in a subdirectory? It is just totally somewhere else. Okay. So let me move functions dot py from here to code directory. Okay. So now this thing is gone. All right. If you want this to work, then you will have to use a uh, system path. So in your system path, you have to add a path of your C code directory. And in order to do that, you use a sys module. So you will say import sys and sys.path.append. What this is doing is it is taking a system path and it is appending, appending a new directory location that you're just going to type here. So what I'm saying is add C code directory to my system path because my functions.py is in C code directory here. Okay. After doing that, you can say import functions as F. Now let me run it. Okay. It is working. You can change the number here and it will just work. Okay, you can even calculate an area of a triangle. You can just say f dot calculate the area of a triangle was this. Calculate triangle area. You'll provide your base and height and you run it and it's gonna say 25. Okay, so just to summarize, we looked at three different ways of importing function modules where the function module that you're importing is at different locations. Okay, that was all about modules in Python. Thanks for watching.